calls for a major review of how Scotland's biggest music festival is run after thousands of people were left in massive queues and tailbacks. The organisers have apologised to those affected and say they still believe Strathallan Castle is the right venue for the event, despite earlier warnings surrounding roads were unsuitable. Our reporter Craig Miller joins us live from Ochterada. Yes, uh, tea in the park is a massive concern, but moving to a new site at Strathallan was always going to be a big test. Now, the organisers say that this weekend has been largely positive, and the consensus of opinion that I've got is that people think as a, a venue for a music festival, it's very good indeed. It's just that getting away from it was a different matter. Slip, slide in away. These were the sort of quagmire conditions that contributed to people getting bogged down for hours as they left tea in the park. It was the first year at Strathallan Castle after 18 years at Ballado. Over the weekend, there were nightmarish journeys for people departing the site. Just chaos, really. Uh, lack of information, that's the biggest thing, I think. Why, the music was good. Everything else, shambles. <laughs> it was a shambles. No organised, there's no queues or anything, it's just a free-for-all. Uh, they're letting in more people and more people are getting taken away in buses. There's just no organisation, it's too small as well. Traffic problems led to a flood of criticism on social media. Shambles and chaotic were some of the milder descriptions. There was no organisation at that Westgate. There was no formal queues. There was people all in the racking, so the racking was the people in the cars couldn't get moving on the racking. The buses couldn't get in and out. There was just complete confusion with the, the stewarding as well as with the, the people who were there who didn't know where to go. There was no signage. There was nothing at all that, that could help these people to say, well, this is the area I need to be in, um, there'll be a bus coming through, it just didn't happen. The event organiser said a number of factors had led to the delays, including the weather. Years of tried and tested plans at Ballado meant people were used to a quicker exit, but fans leaving today were also being subjected to delays, leading to major frustrations. We've been queuing since about 10 o'clock, coming in here and then you get in here and say yes, find no chance of finding the bus site. This weekend has been a fantastic weekend for the music fans. They've come, they've seen all the bands that they wanted to see, they've enjoyed the arena experience in a lovely countryside setting. The, uh, the campsite experience has been fantastic as ever and they've all enjoyed seeing the park. A local MSP is calling for a major review into what happened over the weekend. The volume of traffic that is coming in uh, is clearly a problem and because of that I think we've seen very long delays over the last 24 or 48 hours. Uh, people have naturally got frustrated, uh, they've got out their vehicles, in some cases they've walked, we've seen an accident, obviously a pedestrian accident, um, but more importantly I think uh, people's frustration has just boiled over. It's certainly not the plan that we wanted to have and uh, you know we will debrief this properly and we will look at the future for Tea in the Park with the uh, traffic management plan. The police made 54 arrests which compares to previous years. They're investigating the unexplained death of a man who was found in a toilet. I think the event has, um, has experienced a, a range of weather. Um, it has experienced the challenges of coming from an old location which was familiar to a new location. Uh, we asked people at the start to come and behave responsibly and to enjoy themselves uh, and to a, a huge degree people have done that. Uh, they have participated, they have behaved within the law uh, and seem to have taken that advice to heart. One positive point is that the Ospreys, whose presence nearby might have prevented the event taking place, appear to have been undisturbed, even by Noel Gallagher's high-flying birds. Now, there had been vociferous critics of the traffic management plan in the run-up to Tea in the Park, with uh, people saying that the local roads simply couldn't cope. But DF concerts say that the traffic management plan hasn't failed and that there have been a number of contributory factors, too, mention, too many to mention here, that have led to the problems, including some people from a satellite camp walking on the road. They're going to be looking uh, at what went wrong. They say the lessons will be learned and they're confident that the problems will be ironed out uh, for next year. And they insist that Strathallan is the venue for them. Back to you. Craig and Ochterada, thank you.